Okay, so we looked in the Jacinius Hebrew Chaldee lexicon to the Old Testament how Debar means B and Deborah means B. And we also looked at how the menorah was actually in the shape of um, hexagons. And that would be an interesting study for you to embark on, on yourself of how many structures in the world like snowflakes are in the inside of a living cell or um, even like, I believe if I'm not and I'm pretty sure that even like sperm and all of these different things have um, hexagons in them. And that's the shape of the hexagon, which is what the menorah was in the shape of. And they captured that from the carrying away of the Ark of Titus when Titus um, looted the temple when, at the destruction of um, Jerusalem by the Romans in 70 AD. So I'm going to um, share with you some information. And there's two points here that the bar means the B. And also we'll bump into how Plato had his own trinity that was brought into the primitive ecclesia because we know that Yahweh is God and Jesus said that he was Yahweh and we know that Yahweh incarnates in us and that's what the ecclesia is, is when the word becomes flesh and that makes us all one entity together where two or more are gathered in his name, there he is in the midst of them, so. In this very character was Nimrod worshipped when he was deified as the sun god. He was regarded not only as the illuminator of the material world, but as the enlightener of the souls of men. For he was recognized as the revealer of goodness and truth. It is evident from the Old Testament, not less than the New, that the proper and personal name of our Lord Jesus Christ is the Word of God, as the revealer of the heart and counsels of the Godhead. Now to identify the Son God with the great revealer of the God of the Godhead while under the name of Mithra, he was exhibited in sculpture as a lion. That lion had a bee represented between his lips, figure forty two. Um I'll go ahead and show you that figure because that's important. I'm sorry, I know that this can be kind of awkward the way I'm just pointing and shooting at a book, but let me see. This is for y'all's um, edification for anybody interested. So figure 42. Oh, there it is. And it's got the um, star. See the seven. And you know, we know the menorah there has seven lamps on it. So I'm sure that little star right there has something to do with it. But um, the bee in the mouth of the lion. All right, so figure 42 right here. I usually circle that when I come across the figure 42 or Bible verses, and I write it out to the side so I can keep track of them. So then I'll tab it and do whatever I need to do. So the B between the lips of the sun god was intended to point him out as the word for the bar. The expression which signifies in Chaldean a B signifies also a word, and the position of that B in the mouth leaves no doubt as to the idea intended to be conveyed. It was intended to impress the belief that Mithra, who says Plutarch was worshipped as Mesites, the mediator, in his character as Oranos, the Enlightener, was, Lightener was no other than the glorious one of whom the evangelist John said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. An interesting thing is that um, light is mentioned seven times in John chapter 1 when it says um, the light was in him and what it's referring to now. And then there's seven candlesticks, and that's what it talks about in Revelation chapter 1, and that's reference to the menorah. So seven times it says phos, and then um, the set. Or six times it says phos, and the seventh times it says photidzo, lightneth. And then it says the um, seven um, menorah is the ecclesia, and that's what we are, and we're one um, vesicle together for those of us who believe. So the same was in the beginning with God, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. So I read that twice. The Lord Jesus Christ ever was the revealer of the Godhead and must have been known to the patriarchs as such 
For the same evangelist says, No man hath seen God at any time, the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared, that is, he hath revealed him. Before the Savior came, the ancient Jews commonly spake of the Messiah, or the Son of God, under the name of the Bar, or the Word. This will appear from a consideration of what is stated in the third chapter of First Samuel. In the first verse of that chapter, it is said, the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision. That is, in consequence of the sin of Eli, the Lord had not for a long time revealed himself in vision to him as he did to the prophets. When the Lord had called Samuel, this vision of the God of Israel was restored, though not to Eli, for it is said in the last verse, verse 21, And the Lord appeared again in Shiloh. For the Lord revealed himself to Samuel by the word of the Lord. Although the Lord spoke to Samuel, this language implies more than speech, for it is said, the Lord appeared, that is, was seen. When the Lord revealed himself, or was seen by Samuel, it is said that it was by the bar, the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord to be visible must have been the personal word of God, that is, Christ. After the Babylonian captivity, as the Chaldean Targums, or paraphrases of the Old Testament show, Christ was commonly called by the title, the Word of the Lord. In, the, in these Targums, or later Chaldean, the term for the Word is Memra, but this Word, though a synonym for that which is used in the Hebrew scriptures, is never used there. The Bar is the Word employed. This is so well recognized that in the Hebrew Translation of John's Gospel in Baxter's Polygot, the first verse runs this, In the beginning was the word, the bar. This had evidently been a primitive name by which he was known, and therefore it is not wonderful that Plato should speak of the second person of his trinity under the name of the Logos, which is just a translation of the bar, or the word. Now the light of the wax candle, as the light from the bar, the B, was set up as the substitute of the light of the bar, the word. Thus the apostates turned away from the true light and set up a shadow in his stead. That this was really the case is plain. For, says Crabbe, speaking of Saturn, on his altars were placed wax tapers lightened, because by Saturn men were reduced from the darkness of error to the light of truth. In Asiatic Greece, the Babylonian God was evidently recognized as the light-giving word, for there we find the bee occupying such a position as makes it very clear that it was a symbol of the great revealer. Thus we find Muller referring to the symbols connected with the worship of the Ephesian Diana. Her constant symbol is the bee, which is not otherwise attributed to Diana. The chief priest himself was called Essen, or the king bee. The character of the chief priest shows the character of the god he represented. The, con the contemplar divinity of Diana, the tower-bearing goddess, was of course the same divinity as invariably accompanied the Babylonian goddess. In this title of the priest, shows that the bee which appeared on her medals was just another symbol for her child as the seed of woman. In his assumed character as the bar, the word that enlightened the souls of men, that this is the precise mystery couched under the wax candles burning on the altars of the papacy, we have very remarkable evidence from its own formulas for in the very same place in which the mystery of the wax candle is spoken of. Thus does Rome refer to the bee by which the wax is produced. For as much as we do marvelously wonder in considering the first beginning of this substance to wit wax tapers, then must we of necessity greatly extol the ori original of bees for they gather the flowers with their feet, yet the flowers are not injured thereby. They bring forth no young ones, but deliver their young swarms through their mouths. Like as Christ, for a wonderful example, is proceeded from his father's mouth. 
review of... Oh, okay, so I'll make another part. 